Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I package my enamel pins to sell. Let's just get right into the supplies that I'm going to use. So here's my pile of stuff. So the first thing, I just have this bag with all my pins in it. And then I have scissors, a hole punch. You don't need this unless you want there to be a hole punch through your card. Another optional thing, but here is my wow that's a lot <laughs> here's my little name stamp and then optional as well a ruler the cards I'm using are kind of long so I'm gonna cut them in half so that's what I'm using this for but you really don't need one I'm just being very particular and then you'll need your actual cards as I said they're pretty long and I'm gonna turn each card into two cards so that's why I have the scissors and ruler and hole punch but if you were to start out with a smaller one like this, you wouldn't need a hole punch because it would already have one in there. And then these last two things are going to be kind of weird, but these are going to be the little thing that we are building to make it easier to put the pins through the cards, if that makes sense. So I have these two little foam boards here. Um, I don't even know what to call them. They came in like some candle boxes from the craft store job I used to have. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> you just need some kind of weird foam that's not too firm so that your pin will go through it, but also not too soft that you'll just break it if you try to shove a pin through it. And then the super cute mushroom duct tape, um, I'm going to just tape along the sides let's just measure one of these guys with our tape yep that looks like it should be long enough okay so i'm going to put my little boards together here and then place it down well it's kind of crooked but place it down directly in the center of your tape there and now i'm going to go and i'm going to cut the little corners out of the tape You can kind of see it. It should look something like that. So I just cut the corners out so that I can just neatly fold over all of the edges without them like sticking up on like the corners, I guess. But now you just want to flatten that out. Okay, there we go. Super cute, super cute. Now I'm just going to repeat that on the rest of the three sides. Okay, so now we got our board all taped up. So cute, I am obsessed with this. But now we can put this off to the side and start working on our cards. So I'm gonna take my first card.
take our board here, take one of our cards. So I'm sure there's plenty of ways to line these up and everything, but honestly, if they're all like kind of weird looking, oh well. People don't buy my stuff for the packaging, they buy the stuff for the cute things. So you're gonna take your backing off. I know there's, if you do a lot of these, there's little contraptions you can get where you slide the pin down it and it'll pull the backs off of them, which is really cool. But, okay. So I kind of tried to get it lined up as best as I could. Just gonna push it down. Pull that off there. Put your back on. Super easy because then you don't accidentally stab yourself like I've been doing for a couple years now. 